What's going on, you guys, and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Say Kafo here. And today, guys, we're going to be doing a part two of the Lakers and the 28th pick in the 2017 NBA draft. Uh, obviously, guys, the Los Angeles Lakers do have two first round picks. Uh, one is the number two overall pick and the 28th pick in the 2017 NBA draft. Now, obviously, guys, the Los Angeles Lakers will go with Alonzo Ball or possibly a top five potential draft picks in the second second overall pick in the 2017 NBA draft. But obviously guys, we have no idea as it concerns what's in the mindset of the Los Angeles Lakers and Magic Johnson as it concerns the 28th pick in the 2017 NBA draft. Uh, my I made a last video guys as it concerns potential two uh, front court uh, players uh, that the Los Angeles Lakers should consider. I mentioned uh, Jordan Bell and a Harry uh, get Yellis uh, out of Duke but obviously guys I have a couple of the scenarios as it concerns other potential draft picks as it concerns front court positions uh, number one guys I think the Los Angeles Lakers should consider uh, TJ Leaf uh, power forward uh, out of UCLA 6'10 uh, 220 pounds and 6'11 uh, wingspan he averages about 16 points per game eight rebounds and two assists and also guys he is the teammate of Alonzo Ball so the chemistry and um, him them being um, teammates together will probably work out pretty well for the Los Angeles Lakers in the future but obviously guys if he's still available he, he has a great skill set he has an excellent size as a the power forward uh, he basically has a great defensive ability and offensive ability guys I mean he is the main reason that the Los Angeles that the UCLA reached um, the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament guys but obviously, uh, his defensive ability and skill set is the steal for for every uh, scouting coaches looking at particular players like him. So that's the number one scenario, guys. Number two, I think the Los Angeles Lakers should pursue um, Ivan Rab, power forward center, California, uh, 6'10", 215 pounds set in a 7-1 wingspan and guys he averages about 14 points per game 10 rebounds and two assists guys his strength guys is uh, as it concerns the skill set is uh mobility rebounding and basketball iq uh as it concerns his weaknesses guys his weaknesses guys he basically has uh bad uh perimeter skills uh, defensive ability, uh, actually defensive upside. I mean, he can work on that because, you know, he's a big guy, but obviously that's one of his weaknesses. And offensive flash, guys. You know, he has a problem as it concerns uh, a uh, offensive uh, skill set. So um, that's number two, guys. And number three, I think the Los Angeles Lakers should consider uh, DJ Wilson, power forward out of uh, Michigan. Uh, he's about 6'10". Uh, 240 pounds and a 7-3 wingspan. Uh, he averages about 11 points per game and 5 to 6 rebounds and 2 assists. Uh, guys, his uh, greatest uh, uh, ability is like a defensive upside and protecting the rim, guys. That's what the Los Angeles Lakers basically need. I mean, we were ranked last in defensive ability, guys, and... Uh, uh, protecting the rim. So uh, I think the Los Angeles Lakers should pursue that sort of player. And guys, if you think the Los Angeles Lakers should possibly consider a different position, possibly a point guard or a shooting guard or combo, I think the Los Angeles Lakers should pursue uh, Derek White uh, out of uh, Colorado. Uh, he's about 6'5". Uh, uh, he has a 6'7 wingspan and 200 pounds. He averages about uh, 18 points uh, per game, uh, 4 to 5 rebounds, and 4 assists, guys. I mean, the guy has a great playmaking ability and great offensive uh, skill set. Uh, or, guys, if you think the Los Angeles Lakers should pursue just a point guard, I think the Los Angeles Lakers should go after uh, Jawan Evans. He's, he's out of... Uh, uh, Oklahoma uh, State, 
Uh, he's about 6'1", uh, a wingspan about 6'5", and weighs about 177 pounds. He averages about 19 points per game, three rebounds, and six to seven assists, guys. I mean, and also, guys, he participated in with a couple of draft picks in a Lakers workout, guys. So uh, they saw what he's uh, capable of doing, and somehow they draft him at the 28th pick, uh, I wouldn't be too upset with that, guys. But in my own opinion, I think the Los Angeles Lakers should pursue a a front court position player, like a power forward or a center, guys. I mean, that's basically the need that the Los Angeles Lakers should go after, you know? Uh, we obviously have D'Angelo Russell and obviously a Alonzo Ball and a, a Jordan Clarkson as concerns a, a rotation uh guards position so if somehow uh if somehow the los angeles lakers do go after a point guard i think they will be in good hands with uh, a Derek white or a joan uh, evans so or guys you think los angeles lakers should trade the pick for possibly training up in the draft and possibly drafting a um uh, a Zach Collins or a John Collins or a Jared Allen uh, out of uh, Texas, guys. He's a center. He he has a great uh, um, defensive ability and rebounding. So uh, I think if the if the Los Angeles Lakers want to go that route, I think uh, trading up in the draft for possibly these potential uh, uh, players will be a great help for the L Lakers roster. Or do you think the Los Angeles Lakers should trade? possibly the 28th pick for a current player on an NBA roster I think they should go for it, possibly bringing in a great asset or great um great player that will be a great help as it concerns a uh, a a backup for possibly our starting uh players uh but obviously guys those are my uh opinions and my thoughts as it concerns what the Los Angeles Lakers should do with the 28th pick and possibly uh drafting these type of players or possibly trading for a uh in the draft for possibly a uh a better uh draft uh player uh but guys i want to know your thoughts and your opinions as it concerns this type of matter uh at the 28th pick please i, I really appreciate your guys's uh uh opinions as it concerns the uh, 28th pick and what should the lakers do with it i mean uh it, it gives me also the type of knowledge of your opinions about uh, the Lakers selection at the 28th pick. Uh, it would probably make me think about more uh, about the well-being of the Los Angeles uh, Lakers roster. I mean, uh, I really appreciate you guys' comments and the support that you guys have been giving me. And um, it, it's come uh, out of nowhere, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for... Uh, the comments that you guys been giving me but yeah so guys i just want to know your thoughts and your opinions about this matter uh everything that i just said please let me know in the comment section below like subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for all the support guys uh, i really appreciate it so like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace